So it may not be an El Camino, but it's an orange crook. The 1972 Ford Ranchero half car, half truck. All vehicle that you want to own. But until then, you can always collect this little Hot Wheels version, which puts lesser cars out of their misery. That's just a badass ride right there, and I love the paint job. It's got a Starsky and Hutch vibe to it. Deep orange, almost red. Maybe this is a burnt Sienna. Maybe it doesn't care, because it's the Ranchero. Is it better than the El Camino? Well, y you know, you really should just have one of each. Here's a close-up look, and as you can see, this little Hot Wheels version looks great. Lots of chrome, which works on this car. Cool racing stripes and oversized wheels. This this doesn't really look like an off-road vehicle, as they claim on the packaging, but it's a ranchero. Where can't it go? It'll find a way to get there while hauling alligator carcasses and kegs of beer. That's what crocs are for. And after watching this review, make sure to watch the classic game room video game review of Metro Last Light on ClassicGameRoom.com. It's unclear how many volcanoes this ranchero has conquered, probably all of them. Once again, I love the color, great detailing, good job from Hot Wheels on this one, and I have a classic game room shout out, and thank you to Send to Renee from El Paso, Texas, who has very nice handwriting, I should add. I enjoyed your letter. So thanks again, Renee, and thanks to Hot Wheels for making a great little version of the ranchero. Fit for Godzilla and friends. You know you can't live without one. <laughs>